immersive video has led to the most striking new designs in the camera world since the dawn of digital photography. From large, multi-camera professional rigs, to pocket-sized dual-lens action cams, 360 cameras look anything but ordinary. The alley is no different, a shining, literally, example of clean-lined industrial design. The deep black lenses framed by glossy white plastic give it an unmistakable air of modernity. Placed next to an old film camera, it's hard to believe that the two devices share a common ancestor. Some may see its exterior as refreshing, others stark, like the anonymous white suit of a stormtrooper. The latter view may be fitting, as it evokes the Orwellian nature of such an all-seeing camera. Either way, mounted to a wall or ceiling it will be unobtrusive enough to go unnoticed in your home. Overall, the alley feels well built. It also comes with all of the mounting hardware you need in the box, but it is not weather sealed, so don't mount it to an exterior wall. It weighs in at a hefty 10 ounces, nearly twice that of the somewhat similar looking Samsung Gear 360. We tested the camera with the optional Alley Go battery pack handle. The cylindrically shaped accessory costs $60 and enables the Alley camera to be taken anywhere, by providing 2 hours of juice and a micro SD card slot for local storage. See cloud storage plans and pricing below for more on this. Without it, the alley is dependent on plug-in power. To attach the go to the alley, two screws and the piece of mounting hardware they hold in place must be removed from the bottom of the camera, after which the go-specific mounting hardware can be screwed in. Next, the go itself can be attached by rotating a threaded collar to secure it to the base of the camera. The process is a bit clunky for an otherwise sleek and modern device, 